watch this. You see that? Morant freezes him with the look away Hezzy, then blows right by him with the left. Oof, that's filthy. You have to respect the floater. You can't play drop. I'll be in his pocket. Good. You gotta be physical. If you give him any room to breathe, he's a bucket. For sure. Uh, now watch this. You see how much space he gets on that first step? Well, I guess that's a good enough intro as many. All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to this NBA 2K24, my career. We are going up against John Morant in our second key game of the season. Our objective, outperform John Morant in teammate grade and win the game. Teammate grade might be iffy. Uh, I've been getting around B pluses, A minuses, depending. Um, games win, I don't think we can beat them. I'm going to be really honest. Um, the games I played, I'll show you the schedule. So I played the first one, two, three, four games of the season, and I went two and two. We won the first game of the season, which you guys saw. We got blown out by the Celtics, which I played on my own. We beat the Timberwolves by six, and in this game, Bam Adebayo ended up getting hurt. And then we got destroyed by the Bucks right after because we don't have Bam Adebayo. And then I simulated these games, and we won all these games. Basically, blowouts. Um, doesn't make much sense, but these are not great teams besides the Lakers. So we are currently 5-2. and two. Um, As you can see, my stats, 25 points game, 16 assists, shooting 50% from three. And guess what I am shooting from, I mean, 50% from the field. I am shooting, oh, I'm back to 0% from three. I am shooting 4% from the three-point line, as you can see. Yeah, it's not going well. So I'm going to try turning off my jump shot this game um, and see if that makes any of a difference and if we go to injury report there are a lot of injuries first off but if we go all the way down here yes bam out has collapsed lung uh he was out two to four weeks when he got hurt it is now one to two so by our next key game he should be back but it's a huge blow because as you know the miami have no bigs basically on this roster and losing the one big um a top three top five center in the league is a big blow zach levine is out so yeah it looks like the injuries are basically still the same like look at all of these injuries bro but we're going up with john morant and the memphis grizzlies today and as you can see john morant is averaging 33 points a game and eight assists their new addition marcus smart is averaging 14 off the bench this team is gonna be very difficult to beat especially since they have jaron jackson and we don't have a bam out of bio slow him down so let's uh Make a prayer because I am not a great defender and I have to guard this man. Um, so let's get into it. Also, um, I made a decision. Instead of starting Thomas Bryant, which they want to do, he actually hasn't been playing. Um, I decided to start Orlando Robinson and he is averaging 10 points and 8 rebounds on basically 70% shooting from the field. He has been playing fantastic in these three games. Um, so he is probably going to continue getting that starting nod. Um, over Thomas Bryant, but I'm probably going to put Thomas Bryant in the rotation. I had Jovic in the rotation. He's just not playing great. So uh, we'll, we'll see what we do. Here we are, Fed X form, Miami Heat, Memphis Grizzlies, battle of the point guard, John Morant versus Gerald Johnson. And we're going into this game with no shot meter. All right, that's going to be interesting um, debacle, dilemma. That we're gonna have to go through i haven't used no shot meter i don't think ever to be honest i tried it in a 2k23 didn't work out i ended up getting used to it anyways so we'll see how it works out in this one all right orlando all right orlando robinson with no face scan and we lose the tip awesome okay john morant guarding him is going to be a problem he is a lethal shooter if you know you know and i already got my ankles broken steven adams in the paint easy layup i don't think this game's gonna go well oh clear lane to the basket and gerald lays it up not a great start to this game i already have two turnovers um one of them was a turnover that shouldn't have happened uh so the issue that's always been in 2k is when you have someone set a pick and roll instead of them you know rolling to the basket they just go to the three-point line and it results in a turnover it, it's just so bad i hit turbo there my guy was not running Tyler Hero gets right by Desmond Bain and throws it down. And the Grizzlies immediately call a timeout. Let's see if they actually pass it to me. And Orlando Robinson passes to me. Easy layup for Johnson. That never works because the inbound passer is always so stupid and doesn't want to pass the ball. What a layup from Johnson. What a play from Orlando Robinson. Oh, my God. John Morant just put Orlando Robinson on a poster. 
right after the oh my lord oh god yep that's a thumbnail i'm sorry orlando robinson i set you up for that my friend that was not okay it took me a while to get a thumbnail for that explosive dunk but i will say it's taken me a while to get used to it but the new replay system is actually awesome i will not lie it is very very good very very improved compared to previous two k's i cannot get by john morant these have got to be the worst screens i've ever seen in my life get revenge orlando please don't you okay i thought he was gonna miss god those were just bad i miss bam all right by luke Kennard. can i get the layup that was so clean i knew i should have knew to talk during that because once i had luke Kennard on me that was straight barbecue chicken Oh, I need, I need those Luke. Oh, they're already bringing in Marcus Smart. I need those. Marcus Smart in a Grizzlies uniform and in any uniform that's not a Celtics one looks so wrong. It looks so wrong. But like I was saying, I need Luke Kennard on me many times. Yeah, it's going to happen all game. I need Luke Kennard on me as much as possible because it's going to be straight barbecue chicken. So you know what? Uh, he's there starting small forward. I'm just going to try and get these switches every time. See, I, I, got, I didn't get the switch. All right. So, Jimmy, let's try this again. They learn not to switch. If they don't switch, I'll just give it right to Jimmy in the paint as he lays it up instead of going up strong. All right, I'm going to the bench. We are up by two points. John Morant's doing John Morant things. There's not much I can do to stop him. And we're up by 11. Butler's got 19 already. I mean, I was going to say the matchup we're going to need to expose the most is Butler on Kennard. And he's got 20 in the first half already. And we have a 12-point lead. I mean, if you look at the Grizzlies team, oh, I forgot they have Derrick Rose. Um, right now, they're running a three-big lineup. So, I don't know. We're running a small lineup. They're running a very large one. As Who was that? Was that Marcus Smart that just drilled that? I don't know. But, yeah, they're running Brandon Clark at the small forward. So, it's not that big. Right? Jaron Jackson is guarding Jimmy Butler. That's not what I want because, yeah, it's just I should not have even tried that. This Grizzlies team has to be probably the worst team to face playing the point guard position because of them having John Morant and Marcus Smart. Uh, Jimmy Butler, throw it down. That's 22. Because John Morant in this game is an amazing defender, and you can't really defend him. And then obviously Marcus Smart is just going to smother you. Like, there's just no getting past it. So, yeah, this team is not a great team to face. Why, why am I on that side of the court? 2k i okay i don't recall going to that side of the court but that's fine right i'm in the paint wide open i went for a layup instead of a dunk i don't know why i'm not used to this yeah so jaw is just cooking which was expected but i think i found the recipe to beating them get the switch or the pick and roll on luke Kennard. And it's just easy going. As you can see, Jimmy Butler just bullies him in the paint. I scored six straight points on him in the paint. It's just get an ISO on Luke Kennard and let everything else go into place. Because I'm not going to stop John Morant, as you can see, even though he missed. But I can, I can damn well... Uh, Jimmy, that was a bad shot. I can damn well hold my own against Luke Kennard. I'll tell you that much. That was just a bad shot by Jimmy don't know why he took it also i'm learning that screens are very very strong in 2k24 like you cannot get through them strong it makes sense if steven adams is standing on a screen on you you're not gonna be able to get through as john Morant misses another one but adams gets the rebound i'm there defensively misses again adams with another offensive rebound kicks it out to canard and they get three points off of that and we need to call a timeout 2.4 seconds left the grizzlies made a slight comeback and cut it to six uh, we're not going to let him score anymore. John Moran has just been absolutely insane. I got 12 points and 8 assists on 75% shooting. I'll take it. But um, besides Jimmy and I, we're getting not much help. Jimmy Bola had 16 points in that second quarter. That is insane. He's got 28 in the game. The Grizzlies, though, are hanging around. We were up by double digits at one point. But it has just gone south, mainly because of John Moran. There is nothing else. If it wasn't for him, this would probably be a blowout. Because he is just unguardable. That's going to be a foul. Can I see who the foul is going to be on? I don't care about the rebound leaders last year. I I, I don't know. Okay, the foul was on, I guess, uh, Luke Kennard. That was just bad timing. But, yeah, I'm literally just spamming Jimmy Butler pick and rolls because of Luke Kennard. See, like, it's just it's a glitch. It's just a glitch at this point. The only thing is, I do not think I'm going to get a better teammate grade than John Morant. Mainly because, one, 
I can't guard him. And two, I didn't know he would have a teammate grade. And three, I don't know what the teammate grade would be. Two pump fakes that were wide open. He decides not to take it. Back to John Morant. Steven Adams coming to set the screen. Kick it out of Desmond Bain. That's a bucket. Wow, he missed. One of the best shooters in the league misses. I'm going right by Ja. Can I get the layup? I do. Johnson in the paint. Extends the lead back to double digits. All of his points coming in the paint. I did attempt one three-pointer, and it went terribly wrong. On the fast break, I was open for a while. Jimmy Butler takes the midi. It goes in, so I'm not upset. I was open for a bit. Hero didn't pass to me, but it ended off with a Jimmy Butler bucket. And we're up by 13, so I am not upset about that. John ja Morant, yeah, just right by me. I don't have the speed. I don't have the lateral quickness and nothing to keep up with that. So, I mean, I, I we just got to um, score more than the other team, basically. It's not like I can switch defensive adjustments because I'd rather guard Luke Kennard than John ja Morant because Luke Kennard is going to be less of a threat as I miss a... It's not a, It didn't feel like 75 contested since it's Luke Kennard. And why is Orlando Robinson on Ja Morant? Uh, you know what? I don't even know why I question 2K anymore. Desmond Bain, he's going to end up getting open. Okay, good. Uh, if he made that and I missed my shot, I was going to be fuming. Jimmy Butler on the break. I'm wide open. Easy layup for Johnson. Lead is back to 13. With three minutes left in the third, the Grizzlies have actually made an adjustment. They bring in Marcus Smart over Luke Kennard for the defense, clearly not for the offense. And uh, so they can stop having Jimmy Butler just bully, but it doesn't matter. Yes, it does, because, of course, Brandon Clark's just there. Jimmy Butler from downtown. It's way off. Contested. Um, yeah, I would have got that layup if Brandon Clark didn't, you know, become an amazing just... 10 out of 10 defender is like, oh, I know exactly where... It, okay, it was probably just a bad shot. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, and John Morant, it doesn't matter who's guarding him. He's just getting by. He's just one of those players in 2K where you, he's just unguardable. Just straight unguardable. You, like, there's nothing. I don't care if you're the best defender in the game. He's just one of those players where he's just going to beat you every time. Tyler Hero's wide open, Jimmy, and you took that shot. I can see Kyle Lowry on the sideline, so I'm going to get subbed out either before or at the end of this quarter. And I'm starting to realize Tyler Hero doesn't like me very much because he does not pass me the ball very often. Whenever he has the ball in his hand, I do not get it. Caleb Martin, kick it out to Orlando Robinson. I have no stamina, but I want to do a backdoor cut. What happened? Did we get... Okay, I guess we have team takeover uh, randomly. Marcus Smart, and one. Awesome way to start team takeover. A missed shot and an and one. Duncan Robinson, what? It was that? Oh, he drills it. That was an awkward release. It doesn't even look like Duncan's, to be honest. Oh, my God. I thought he was going to get the steal also. But Brandon Clark, apparently we got Tom Brady on the Grizzlies. Drills that one. That was beautiful. I need to find a way to get Tyler Hero some floppy routes. Because that's going to be really the only way he scores is floppy routes. I don't know why he doesn't have any. Duncan Robinson again. He gets fouled. He doesn't hit it. I thought we were going to have a four-point play on our hands. What is that referee outfit? That is not what NBA refs wear. They don't even have the official NBA referee uniforms anymore, 2K. That's what we're doing. But that Duncan Robinson getting fouled on a three-point play, I really wanted him to make that, bro. That would have been insane. But he can extend this lead to, what is that, 18? An 18-point 18 lead nearing the end of the third quarter for the Miami Heat. Not what anyone expected. Duncan Robinson just got the defensive rebound. He's balling. We're going to run the same exact play for him. Or not. Or did I... What? Why is it taking so long? Why did it take so long to run that play? And see? Now he doesn't get open. Duncan Robinson. Kick it out. Duncan. 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 What are you doing, buddy? Yeah, that was just bad. But that's the end of the third quarter. We're heading to the fourth. Up by 18. All right, well, they just cut it to nine with back-to-back -back threes. One of them being one from the logo from Desmond Bain. That looked contested, but apparently wasn't. I just can't get by John Moran. It's just not humanly possible. I have no stamina because they've given me no rest in this game. So I can't do anything. So I say this is going pretty good. Jimmy Butler has been getting locked up. Can we, Jimmy, can we shoot the goddamn ball at some point? Of course he misses. So, yeah, this is going great right now. I have no stamina, and it's going to be like that for the rest of the game. And John Morant, thank God he misses. Oh, my God, Jimmy Butler with the steal. Go, 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 Jimmy. Can we, like, actually sprint? Why are we doing a brisk jog to the basket in a very close game? 
So currently, Jimmy Butler has 49 points. I believe his career high is 53. I remember in 2017, he did it with the Bulls. Can we get Jimmy Butler a new career high? There's 51 for Jimmy Butler. Playoff Jimmy is in full effect right now. 51 from Butler. Can we get a new career high for Jimmy? John Morant, he misses. Butler with the rebound. On the break. Jimmy Butler. I'm going straight to the... That was a bat. Oh, I got fouled. So Butler's career high is 53. So he needs two more buckets for a new career high. He's got 51. Jimmy Butler straight to the basket. Can he get it? Jimmy Butler pump fake. Lays it up. It's out. How does that miss 2K? But I'm all worried about Jimmy Butler getting 53. He ties his career high. One more point. And Jimmy, 53 points for Jimmy Butler. Jimmy, come on. We, we can't have you tie it. We can't have you tie it. New career high, 55. The Grizzlies call a timeout. Jimmy Butler, 55 points. New career high. And there, I just noticed there is no one left in this stadium. We are going to take out the Grizzlies. 115. 107, unless Orlando Robinson has eight. Or, okay, he's, he's just not going to shoot. I'm, I'm spamming square, and he just won't shoot. It doesn't matter. 115-107 is the final score, and we take out the Grizzlies. Final box score, John Morant has 38 points on 17 of 35. I held him to under 50% shooting. He only shot 30% from three. Uh, Desmond Bain was the second leading scorer with 15. Uh, Jaron Jackson was basically useless in this game. Uh, for the Heat, 55 points. For Jimmy Butler, eight rebounds, five assists, and two steals, shooting 22 of 33 from the field, one of three from three, and 10 of 11 from the free throw line. 23 points, 20 assists for Gerald Johnson. A lot of turnovers, but that's expected. But 55 from Jimmy. We combined for 78. Caleb Martin had 10 off the bench. Duncan Robinson also had 10 off the bench. Very helpful. Tyler Hero is basically useless. Unbelievable game for Jimmy Butler. We got him a new career high. We needed it without um, having Bam out of bio. If Jimmy Butler doesn't do that, we lose this game. Anyways, that's going to be it for me. GG.